Hey, my name is Monica. I am Polish Nigerian. I live in London, but 2021 was the year when I finally visited Africa for the first time. Well, twice actually. One of the last events I attended there was Accra Art Week, which takes place annually in Accra, Ghana. I almost missed the event, but made it on the very last day. Accra Art Week 2021 took place at the Galleria Mall, opposite the Kempinski Hotel. We'll go to the hotel in a minute, but first, let me tell you something about the Ghanaian clock. <laughs> I came to the exhibition to see the art, but also to enjoy the finale, which included music performances. The performance was meant to start at 5 p.m. I got there around 5.45. I had rushed out of the house and pressured the driver to pick the fastest route possible. I was concerned that I might miss the whole thing. But when I got there, I was reminded that this was Ghana, whose concept of time is very different than the Western idea. I say this to say that while in Ghana, you will avoid a lot of frustration when you understand that the perception of time is unique there to say the least. Things happen when they happen, events start when they start, and people come when they come. In Ghana, for the most part, you will have to find peace in the waiting, or you might have very little peace while you are there. The clocks were striking six. It was one hour past the official starting time, and there was no sign or sound of music. Hence, we decided to go grab a bite at the Kempinski Hotel Bar. Thankfully, we found not only decent food, but also good music there. We had to wait for the food though, a long time. I'm just saying, Ghana will either teach you a little patience or drive you a little crazy. Probably both, actually. But then, the live band at the Kempinski Hotel made our wait quite pleasant. And our food did come eventually. <laughs> so it was all okay. So, after the meal, fed and prepped by the bar's band, we went back to the Galleria Mall, hoping the gig would eventually start. It was roughly 8 p.m. by then. Arajwa again, my uh, partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Kempinski getting ready for the night. Mm -hmm. I'm joking, we'll be home by 9, I'm sure. And yes, people had started gathering. The live performance by Pure Akan was about to begin. And nobody but me seemed to have noticed that it was three hours past the official starting time. <laughs> Thank you. 
all in all, the gig was good fun. I did not understand the lyrics, but found the singer's voice soothing. It made me feel happy. I guess I should conclude by saying that good things are worth waiting for. Exploring the African art was an interesting experience too. The exhibition's element I enjoyed the most were the little notes. The following two stood out to me. Under Dr. Maya Angelou's portrait, the note said, We delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. Courage is the most important of all the virtues because without courage you can't practice any other virtue consistently. And then, under the portrait of Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer of his time but also the creator of poetic lines such as float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, there was this note. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact, it's an opinion. It's not a declaration, it's a dare. Impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. On this note, take courage and let nothing good be impossible to you this year. <laughs>